This is the Ashcroft Indian Band cooking show. Hello everyone, um, this is the second cooking show. Um, today we're going to make Diana's hamburger soup. And I'm going to start with the buns. It's a lengthy process, so I'm going to start them so they can rise. So the first thing I'm going to start with is uh, some warm water. I'm going to add my yeast to it and then some sugar. And that'll activate the yeast. I'm just going to give it a little stir. It'll look kind of lumpy at first, but it'll start bubbling up and that's when you know your yeast is working. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit. Make sure your water isn't too hot because then you'll kill the yeast, which I've done before. So, don't do that. All right, so I'm just gonna let that sit and start working, doing its magic. And in, I'm gonna get the rest of it going. I have nine cups of just all-purpose flour and I'm gonna add to it um, some butter I melt it, I don't know if you're supposed to, but I do. Um, some sugar, some warm water, and some uh, uh, cracked egg and some vinegar. And again, I'll give you all the ingredients, like the measurements. So it's been probably five, 10 minutes, and it's starting to, you can see my yeast is working, it's starting to bubble up a little bit. So I'm just going to add it to the rest of the mixture. Hopefully my yeast works. I'm always nervous about this part. Always use uh, new yeast because I've like used old stuff and it just didn't do anything. So I'm just going to mix this until it sort of comes together in a ball. And then the fun part starts, you start kneading it. If anyone's lucky enough to have a KitchenAid mixer, you can use it with a dough hook. But I forgot mine today, so I'm gonna have to do it this way and start kneading it. So that means get your hands in there and get dirty. Ooh. Okay, here we go. So I always have extra flour here because it's it asks for nine cups, but like right now I can tell it's pretty sticky. So you just start working it until it forms a ball, and then you can put it on your counter. Go. Now, this recipe came from my grandma who was raised on this reserve and she didn't write so she just did this recipe in front of my mom. My mom quickly wrote down the ingredients and the measurements so everyone in my family could have a different version of this but this is my mom's version from my grandma. So I'm just going to put a little flour on here and start working it. Yep kind of coming together. Make sure you have flour so it's not sticky. All right, just bringing it in. And so I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna let it sit. I'm gonna put it back in the bowl. Needed it enough. So see, it's kind of coming together. So I'm gonna put it back in the bowl. And I'm going to let it sit in a warm place for two hours and it should at least double in size and then I'm going to come back um, I'm going to punch it which is kind of fun and let it sit another hour and then we'll start forming the buns. All right good morning everybody so today we are going to make some hamburger soup and basically you can just throw everything including the kitchen sink in it and it tastes <laughs> fantastic. It's comfort food again, which I actually love. So start out with a little bit of oil in your pan and we're going to saute some of the veggies. So I have some celery and we have onion and you can chop it up as thick or thin or add as much as you want. I would put in um, a cup of each or more, depending on, <laughs> on what your tastes are. Um, carrots. Okay, and I'm just going to 
saute them a little bit, just get them to start cooking. for a big pot of soup like this, so you have lots of lots of um, juice, soup stock, whatever you want to call it. And then you'll also need to fill her up with a bunch of water. Can you just taste as you go along? I'm going to add some corn. <laughs> Not too much, because you don't want it to be too corny. Okay, so that is sitting nice. So you're gonna have to check it because as it boils, it will reduce the liquid. So you may have to add more water. Um, there is quite a bit of um, beef stock in there, so it will allow you to add some water without taking away the flavor. But just taste it as you go, and um, you'll be able to season the taste. So we will let that simmer for about an hour and a half to two hours. You wanna make sure that the vegetables are soft. So now it's doubled in size, yay. So all we do after two hours is punch it. Do you want to? No, you go ahead, you can punch. <laughs> Just like punch it down. Ooh. Yeah, I don't mess around. And, and <laughs> that's it. You just kinda, I think that's it. But uh, 
Now we wait another hour, let it rise again. So you punch it a few times, that's it, and then it rises again? Yeah. What does that do? Well, it's because my mom told me to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was thinking that I was, I was doing this earlier. I'm like, okay, warm water, that's what we, it's because my mom and my grandma do it, so mm -hmm. I do it. And we are going to form some buns. Okay, right. so it's been an hour. It's doubled in size again after I punched it. And it has. So now we're gonna form the actual buns, like Diana said. It's gonna, it might stick a little bit. It shouldn't be super sticky by this point. Bring it out. It's a little sticky. <laughs> I know, however they are, they won't be as good as my mom's. Nothing is ever good. Nothing's as mom. ever good. As mom. <clears throat> okay, so we'll just cut little, little, uh, <laughs> these are serious knives. Okay. <laughs> little sections. And I'm going to uh, watch you do one and then I'll. Uh, and uh, the way my mom described it is you just want to tuck in the ends underneath, like almost like form little balls. That one's pretty little. Okay, so, <laughs> okay. Um, now we've kind of um, put them in a grease pan. And we're trying to make them the same size, but a few extra. But now I'm gonna let them rise another hour. Wow, these look amazing. <laughs> I can hardly wait to try them. Okay, so uh, here we are. We're gonna do the little. Ooh. All right, see if I can do that. This one. A little warm. A little warm. Mm -hmm. But you want to take them out as soon as they come out of the oven. And then we want to slather them with yummy butter. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I just melted a little bit of butter and I'm just going to throw it on top. Oh, they smell so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> During the break, we also added a little bit of some leftover macaroni, which is super good as well. Juice there. So these just pull apart nice. And there you go. <laughs> so again, like the other ones, um, if this is a recipe that you are interested in been trying out, mm -hmm. let us know and we will get the ingredients for you as well as the instructions and you'll be able to watch this along and, and cook along with us. <laughs>